the Shadow Monster, otherwise known as the Mind Flayer. It's the overlord of the Upside Down and every monster in it. The Mind Flayer is the being that sees all and knows all within the Upside Down. The last time it appeared on screen, it had absorbed nearly half the town and turned into a huge spider-like being, similar to the one Will saw in Season 2. The final season of Stranger Things is on its way, so the big question is, will the Mind Flayer be making an appearance? Stick around to find out. Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 2 revealed that, contrary to popular belief, Vecna created the Mind Flayer and not the other way around. It turns out that the Mind Flayer was not in control of Vecna. Instead, Vecna not only controlled it, but also created it. When Eleven threw one into the Upside Down, he found a world that was untainted by humans and he made that world his home. He formed the Mind Flayer from the darkness in the sky and trained it to wreak havoc on the real world. In the first two seasons of Stranger Things, Vecna sent creatures from the Upside Down into the real world to terrorize the people of Hawkins. In the third season, he finally sent the Mind Flayer. It appeared in Season 3 as the spider-shaped being that Will had seen in Season 2. The Mind Flayer also takes the form of a goopy monster as seen in the early episodes of Season 3. This monster was the early stage of what would later become the giant spider monster that the kids would face at the Starcourt Mall. The monster at the hospital was a combination of about two people, but the one at the mall had dozens of people and pests in it, along with fertilizer and some other chemicals which helped the Mind Flayer speed up the goop transformation process. Throughout the season, the Mind Flayer inhabited human hosts and controlled them to do its biddings, like it did with Billy and the rest of the town's people. Vecna gave the Mind Flayer the power to control the minds of humans when he created it. This power places the Mind Flayer levels ahead of other creatures from the upside down. The hosts the Mind Flayer chooses share similar characteristics with it while they are under his control. They hate heat, as seen with Will in the season finale of Season 2 and with Billy in the early episodes of Season 3. However, with Billy, the Mind Flayer was able to communicate through him and use him as more than just a GPS tracker like it tried to do with Will in Season 2. Stranger Things has shown that the Mind Flayer has no true form. He was formed from darkness and can always return to darkness. And even though his physical form may die, that does not mean he's actually gone for good. When Joyce flipped the switch that closed the gate and almost killed Hopper, the Mind Flayer's physical form was defeated, but he certainly isn't out for the count. Vecna can always form a new Mind Flayer from the darkness. The Upside Down has a never-ending supply of darkness for Vecna to use. He could also use the darkness to form an army of Mind Flayers and send them to destroy the world. The chances of seeing the Mind Flayer in Season 5 are very high, especially because of Vecna's current weakened state. He can't take on Eleven right now, so he will need to send in his fiercest soldier. The Mind Flayer is the only creature from the Upside Down to ever come close to defeating Eleven, so it would be Vecna's best option to send it in. The Mind Flayer's ability to distribute itself into different hosts while remaining in full control makes it a frightening adversary. Vecna could unleash a truckload of Upside Down creatures on the people of Hawkins in Season 5. With all four gates open and the giant gateway between the two worlds, Vecna will be sending every creature in his arsenal to kill El and the rest of the human race. Of all the creatures in the Upside Down, the Mind Flayer is arguably the most ruthless. Unlike the other creatures that one met in the Upside Down, the Mind Flayer was created by one himself. This gives them a special connection that likely helps the Mind Flayer be more calculating than the creatures from the Upside Down. While creatures like the Demogorgon and the Demodogs blindly kill everything in their sight, the Mind Flayer plots and plans just like Vecna or any human would. The creature bides its time and only strikes when the time is right. This allows it to deliver more fatal blows than other creatures from the Upside Down. When Will saw the Shadow Monster in Season 2, it looked like a giant spider, and when the Mind Flayer appeared in Season 3, it took up the same form. This spider form was chosen by Vecna as a nod to the Black Widow spiders he befriended in the Creel house. In the Mind Flayer, he saw what he has always wanted, a perfect predator to destroy the human race. As the only creature in the Upside Down who has spent a significant amount of time in both the real world and the Upside Down, Vecna has a unique advantage over all the other creatures, and this is what allows him to control them, along with the psychic abilities he already had when he was human. The first volume of the fourth season focused on Vecna's origin. Although he doesn't reveal his true identity until the last few minutes, 
it's clear that every storyline in the show was tied to him in some way. It would have been impossible for the Mind Flayer and Vecna not to be connected since the Mind Flayer connects to everything in the Upside Down and Vecna also connects to the Upside Down when he wants to claim his victims. They also share similar viewpoints in that they both view the human race as a pest that should be eliminated. The Mind Flayer does not appear in any of the episodes from Volume 1. Nancy, Steve, Robin, and Eddie bike down the streets of Hawkins in the Upside Down, but the shadowy shape of the Mind Flayer is nowhere to be found. The Shadow Monster might still be recuperating from his last bite in Season 3. In Season 4, Volume 2, Murray, Joyce, and Hopper find a room that looks like a prison cell for creatures from the Upside Down. The cells seem to be surrounded by a red light that could be a source of heat to keep the creatures weak and stop them from escaping. It's no secret that the creatures from the Upside Down hate heat. One cell in particular stands out. In it, there is a shadowy creature that looks similar to the shadow monster that inhibits the Upside Down. And upon closer inspection, you can almost make out the long legs that are akin to the Mind Flayer. This mist-like creature in the cell could also be the shadow monster that Joyce burnt out of Will in Season 2. Although the shadow monster that left Will was a lot smaller than the one in the cell, it's possible that that part of the shadow monster died off when the gate was closed, or it remained in Hawkins and was captured by the Russian soldiers. How the Russian soldiers were able to capture the creatures is still a mystery since creatures from the Upside Down seem to be natural predators who kill for the sheer joy of it. The similarities between the Mind Flayer and the creature in the cell are undeniable. In addition, the shadow creature in the cell entered the bodies of the other Upside Down creatures and started controlling them. This skill is reserved for the Mind Flayer, so chances are that the creature in the cell was the Mind Flayer. Murray already roasted the creatures, and Hopper used Conan the Barbarian Sword to kill the Demogorgon, so the Shadow Monster is gone again, but Vecna can still create another one. Vecna is undeniably the most dangerous villain the Stranger Things kids have ever faced, and he will definitely be returning in Season 5. Eleven will likely have to fight him to retrieve Max's mind. When she entered Max's mind, she was met with pure darkness. This shows that Vecna still has her trapped in his mind, so Elle will have to go into Vecna's mind to save her. While this battle goes on on the sidelines, the team will have to face the monsters coming through the gateway, one of which will likely be the Mind Flayer.